Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where we're going to be creating an improved version of document.querySelector and query selector all. Now, we are not going to be implementing our own search function to look up the DOM and find the elements by the selectors. However, we are going to be wrapping the existing query selector and query selector all functions inside something else to make it a lot more uh, useful, especially when it comes to selecting multiple elements. Now, this here is not an absolute requirement for your next project. However, it is a good learning experience and in general, it's going to be a useful tool. So right here, I've got this index HTML document containing a variety of different elements. We've got a heading, two paragraphs and an unordered list of fruit. All right. So we're going to be yeah using our select function. So a new function we're going to be creating in today's video. We're going to be using that function to select these elements. All right. Now, just a heads up, this uh, this uh, code is going to be using things like rest parameters, array destructuring, array map, and a few more things here and there, uh, as you might see. So yeah, it's a good learning experience if you're interested. Now, going inside VS Code, uh, we have this for the index.html. I've got a mixture of both IDs and classes on these elements to make it a little bit more interesting while we're testing our function. So going inside the index.js file, let's begin with a new function called select, like I just mentioned. So we're going to say here, const select is equal to a new arrow function, just like this. Now, we're going to keep the function blank for now, just so we can uh, take a look at what the usage is going to look like. Okay, so we're going to say return here, just like this, and return an empty array. Okay. Fantastic. So now, what do we expect this function to do when we call it? So the way we expect it to work is I can say something like, for example, const, then use the square brackets. I can say heading and then fruit list is equal to select. Okay. Then here, I'm going to pass in some arguments, two arguments actually, one for the heading and one for the fruit list. So we want to select both this top H1 and this bottom UL. Okay, let's pass in the string for heading and then the string for fruits. Okay, so we're simply just matching the IDs um, as we would normally when we're calling query selector or query selector all. These here are your selectors for both those elements. Okay. Now it's important to note that we're using array destructuring here because this function is going to return an array as we know and we're simply uh, placing in order the values of that return um, on the left side. So heading and then fruits list. So now if I do console.log here for heading and console.log for fruits list and I run this code here, go back in the browser, we get undefined and undefined. So of course, we need to now implement this function and make it work. And one last thing worth mentioning is that, again, this here is a list of arguments. So we're passing in two arguments here to the select function. Now, in order to extract these two arguments and put them inside an array, so it's easier for us to loop over, we're going to use the rest parameters syntax. We're going to say dot, 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 then say selectors. Okay. What this is doing is it's simply taking the list of arguments and converting it into an array. If I console.log here, what selectors look uh, looks like, save this, go back in the browser, we get an array of heading and fruits. Okay. This now sets up us, sorry, this now sets us up nicely to call the map function. Okay. So we're going to say return selectors dot map. Now, as you may already know, dot map allows you to run a function on every element inside an array, this case here, every selector and whatever the return value is from map in each of those, uh, for each of those elements there, that is what the new value is going to be for that array item. So I'm going to say here, selector, grab this selector out. So a singular selector, then I'm going to say, uh, simply just return document.query selector. 
So calling that existing function and pass through the selector just like this. And it is that simple, guys. So now, um, if I save this, go back in the browser, we get heading and null. What did I do wrong here? Let's have a look. And I may have, okay, so my mistake, I used fruits instead of just fruit for the ID. So let's backspace the S there, save it and try again. And we get both those elements in the console, okay? If you're not too familiar with the array destructuring syntax, just to make it a little bit more clear for you guys here, if I was to uh, change this const to be instead elements is equal to, and then log out what elements is, we're gonna see an array of those two items, and we do right here. So it is that simple to create your own version of the uh, you know query selector function in a way, uh, wrap it inside this and make it a lot more useful when it comes to selecting multiple elements. Okay, now this is all well and good, but what happens if we were to uh, pass in the class for body as an example? Well, let's give it a go. So let's remove the second uh, selector here and just focus on those body paragraphs. So we're going to say dot body for the class here. And what do we get back now? If I save this, go back in the browser, we get only the first one back. The reason for that is because, well, we're only using query selector and not query selector all. Because in this example, you know, we only have a one dimensional array here because again, I've only got a single item. So we need to somehow utilize query selector all instead. So let's make a second function here called const select all and make it do the exact same thing really. So I might just copy and paste the whole function, okay? Gonna copy and paste this and change this now to be query selector all, okay? Save this back in the browser. And now if we were to call select all instead down here, right? Back in the browser, we now get a multi-dimensional array. Now this here isn't an array, it's a node list, but still it's a list of items, right? So in the first position, we now have both the paragraphs, okay? And this of course now benefits us because we can access both of them. And it's gonna be up to you in terms of when you wanna use the select versus select all. If I was to use the object destructuring, or sorry, the array destructuring in this example, I can say for example, body or uh, body paragraphs as an example, right? Log this out, okay, back in the browser and we get the list right there. So you could take it a step further and start destructuring from within here, but typically if you use query selector all, you don't really know or you aren't aware of how many items are gonna get returned. Therefore, you would of course do a loop or whatever you need to do once you have those body paragraphs back. Now, there are two small things to mention uh, to make this code a little bit nicer. It's a little bit, uh, what do you call it? It's a bit, um, you know, subjective, but I would probably prefer to uh, actually just, instead of returning here on top, I would just copy this line and simply just put it through there without the curly brackets, okay? And the same goes for the entire function, really. I mean, if you like, you can just copy this right here, once you've got this one, and then get rid of this curly bracket and just go like this, okay? That's all still valid JavaScript. And of course, do the same thing for select all. I'll just backspace this and copy it once again and not forget to replace the, uh, you know, this function to be query selector all once again. And now we have the exact same result. Save this back in the browser and everything works still as expected. And the second thing to mention before wrapping up this video would be, uh, you may wish to uh, export these functions from some sort of util uh, file. So let's go inside the file structure and we're gonna be creating a new file here called utils.js and here, I'm gonna simply copy those two functions, okay? Gonna paste it inside here and then we're gonna say export, okay? So export const select, export const select all. And this here may be a disadvantage of uh, using the, the simple uh, no curly bracket uh, syntax because it's going off the screen here. So my, apolog uh, my apologies, but 
regardless, we're, we're exporting those two functions from this file now, which means we can uh, get rid of these two lines from here and instead say import. We're going to be importing from utils.js, going to be importing in this case the select all function only. Save this back in the browser. It is not going to work because we are not inside a JavaScript module to fix this problem. We must go back in the index.html and just change this defer to be a type of module instead. Save this back in the browser and it is now working once again. So that is how to build uh, your own version of query selector or at least wrap the functions to make it easier to select elements. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.